Welcome back to Abduction. We're still in the room where we uh, left off the other day or the last video. And uh, I checked all of the room but for this book. So um, let's read it. So assuming uh, the C stands for Caroline, this is the place where Caroline Farley used to live. All right, let's read this. A.H. After Hunrath, right? Oh, yeah. My game is still on French. Let's change that, shall we? And let's hope the... Um, the notes will change as well when we do this, but... We might have a problem with that. Let's read it. Let's check it out. All right, it's in English, so that's good. The villain, they, I can't find the words. It's such a foreign life cycle. Or perhaps not. They launch themselves across the expenses of space, preserves for eons, until at last their technological arcs can hone in and carry them to a new home. They have no connection with their predecessors. But in spite of this, perhaps because of this, they have amazing recollections of their history. Their stories are epic, reaching back through the eons, Unlike many of us who were abducted, they were abducted as a whole. Their scoop moved an entire facility that was about to be annihilated. I have come to believe that they, perhaps more than any of us, have a deeper understanding of whatever this strange system is that we find ourselves in. And 16333, I need to write this down. We buried Ji Un today. This place never really agreed with her, kept to herself mostly. Depressed and downcast. Anyway, I digress. I stayed after the brief words were spoken. I was the last to leave. I wandered to the dome, as I often do, and looked out at the undulating, saurian weirdness beyond the seal wall. Cell wall. Movement caught my eye. Now, on very rare occasions, we've seen Mofang scrambling about in the distance. But there have been fewer and fewer sightings over the years. But before me was a tall, haggard Mofang running desperately, almost directly toward me from one of the distant structures. It, I still can't tell the gender, got closer and closer. I thought it would see me and stop, or turn around, or be curious about this strange dome and our world inside it. But it continued running quickly, almost directly to my position. I was frozen in place with curiosity, until my reflexes took over at the last moment and I leapt out of the way. But rather than hit the dome and fall backward or come through into Hunrath, the dome flashed its familiar tone and the Mofang vanished. I was stunned for a bit, but I retrieved my wits and stepped into the dome myself to quickly get to the other side. After getting through, I immediately turned around and saw the Mofang outside, on the other side of the dome, still running away from whatever it feared but as if it had no sense of passing around the dome. As surprising as the event was, it did serve to settle a few things in my mind. I always wondered how no one on earth noticed what had replaced this chunk of Arizona we have here. I've got to vent again. There are those who argue with me. Over and over I demonstrate that in almost every case, whatever the process was that brought us here, and a card it occurred at a pivotal moment. They tell their stories and they still can admit that the abduction actually saved each of us, all of us. What is it in human nature that grasps so strongly to the past that we blame our saviors for stealing it from us? Okay, just one more vent before bed. If each of us was individually saved from something, then maybe all of us were corporately saved from something larger. Can we really be sure what's left? And this... The arrivers come from various places and times. Sarah got here almost 15 years ago, from the year 2055. And Uziel got here two and a half years ago from 1942. What does that mean? Time here is shuffled and chaotic compared to Earth. What state is Earth in right now? When is Earth right now? Hmm. It's 3.15 a.m. And I feel compelled to journal this craziness, after spending most of yesterday meditating with the R.I. and then most of the evening discussing the nature of these words with worlds, 
with C.W., I had just a sip of infamous Hunrath hooch and collapsed in my chair. Well, I just awoke from a dream. I'm, no, I'm not one who puts a lot of credibility in dreams, but maybe the R.I. were able to move something in me to understand. Or, possibly because of the intense discussion, my subconscious mind was triggered to be able to sort out some logical connections. Or maybe it was the hooch. The dream. I was tending a garden, an immense garden, and it wasn't for food or flowers, it was just about the health of the garden. I kept working and working to control it and contain it and make it healthier, but the garden seemed to fight me at every turn. And after what seemed like days of work, I finally gave up in frustration. And as I stood there, doing nothing, the garden flourished before my eyes, growing and spreading in every direction. Because, I realized, the system that the plants were based on was not about me shaping and controlling. The natural system of plants is healthier when they are out of control, when they are free to spread and intermingle, and cross-pollinate and mutate. Now, from a human point of view, that may not provide what I want. I get smaller fruit and smaller flowers and untidiness. But, from the point of view of the plants, they grow stronger and much more resilient and resistant. The more they are scattered, the higher their odds of surviving. And now, that I contemplate, I realize that even the individual plants, seeds, may not appreciate the benefit of what's happening. They are torn far from their origins, forced into situations that seem extreme, possibly even destroyed by these new environments. But for the seeds that survive, ah, the seeds that survive, now that's where real growth, strength and abundance comes from. It's so beautiful and terrifying. Beyond the beauty of it all is a system and structure that defies understanding. Okay, what if this is all a natural process? There are, there are signs of something behind it all, but well hidden signs. So well if I look at all of this, the cell, the tree, the water, the seeds, the hub, the health, even the abductions. Well, there seems to be a grand system or plan. The plan doesn't take me into account. It is an unemotionally intent on the health of something much bigger. That may hurt my feelings, but, well, what am I in the entire scheme of the universe? I have no idea what, if anything, might have put this process into motion, but that is irrelevant. Tomorrow I will talk with CW. He could be swayed from his battery plan. This is a long journal, but let's keep reading. It's interesting. I really don't journal much. You don't? I came to write this down because I am distraught. As I contemplate the plan that I have set in motion, I realize that I have become destroyer of worlds. I sat down to write, to seek some cathartic tranquilization, and I realized the last thing I journaled was some esoterically beautiful philosophy about letting this garden grow, not so reaffirming or calming. But nevertheless, here is my reasoning, because I must write this down, simply it's us or them. Complexly, if this is some kind of garden and we're the plants or seeds or whatever, well, some of us have gotten together and decided that we're the better choice to survive. If the others have unilaterally decided that we all won't survive, unilaterally, I am more fit, damn it. Who is she talking about if she refers to the others? Aliens? This is not me. I want to be calm and garden or ungarden or grow or what gives one species the right to destroy another species who gets to choose do i just lay down and die because the more aggressive species thinks they're better more powerful survival of the fittest what brutal scale do i use to measure the good of some against the life of others does love ever destroy in order to help more survive to help love itself to survive does that even make sense? Can I kill because I think it will bring about more love? What if I'm not even capable of understanding the situation of hate versus love? Maybe I am the hater. Do I generate this love delusion to help me maintain my sanity in light of the choice I have made? My god, it's too much. If these are just my walls of delusion, then I chose to live within them. I am a seed, scattered by the wind, but I will not simply be trampled. I will kick and scream and survive. May God have mercy on my soul. So things definitely became bad for her. 
Not exactly how yet. They maybe she got in a conflict. Humans got in conflict with alien species. Let's check the other side. We haven't done that yet. And I'm not even sure on what planet we are, but it, this looks like Hunrath. But I don't think it is because I might recognize this door. Wait a second. Oh, <laughs> that's. <laughs> Wait, I didn't see that ever before. A secret room? Could this be opened all along? Really? Hmm. Alright, so now we're back here. Uh, I was kind of thinking, now I have nothing to do. It. Wait, what happened here? Wait a second. There's a note. I thought the books were in here. Last time I checked, but I might go crazy myself. All right, we have something else to do. We can do something else. We have to get back to the jungle world. I think that's called, not Captar, but Murai, maybe? And so we have to get to the point where we can teleport to the blue door. And that point is somewhere on the wall. Mm, let's go... Should we go like this? Let's go here. Let's see where this leads. Can't really remember anymore. Um, where are we? Okay, we're up here. Um, do we need to be there? No, we don't have to be here. So uh, let's try to get out again. No, that will not lead us to where we need to be. We could... No. I'm just thinking of how we should be quickly able to get to where we want. Think, think, think. Think a little harder. Maybe we can go to the spot where we found our first portal. So let's check over there. But I kind of want to remember where that leads again. I don't remember. as well inside the scrapyard uh, that oh, this is not where I want to be either okay um, let's do this differently let's uh, call the crane And then I'll just actually walk there myself instead of teleporting myself. Seems like a better plan. I've seen your brother another puzzle I kind of hope there aren't more of them but um, to be honest I think there are more so we'll just uh, have a nice stroll again I still haven't been to the other side where we blasted the rocks out of the way And we still haven't opened the door down here as well. 
So there are some unfinished businesses in Hanrath at least. Well, this is going the right way, right? We should go... Uh, no, this leads to the tower. Actually, we need to um, get through the portal here. And then we'll finally get where I want to be. This is the teleportation device we need, so I'm going to activate it and I'm going to uh, zone us in and out in a second. There we go. See you on the other side. And welcome to the jungle, which I think is called Morai, but I can't be for certain, for sure. Um, now. The door we opened up so we can proceed. We did that by activating that console up there. There's another pedestal. Now, there's a map here. And I have to sneeze, just one second. <coughs> it always happens when I'm recording. That's Don't so panic. Oh. This is the best way to keep everyone safe. Just stay on this path and cross the first bridge. Then keep going until you get to that sign in area. You'll get more information after you sign in. Are you? Don't panic. This is the oh, best way. Alright, alright. Are you Caroline? She clearly been here. I'm just trying to look at the map Don't here. This is the Will best you just way uh, shut up for a second? Just stay on this path and cross the bridge. You are here? The bridge? Sign, sign in area. Alright, alright. I get it. What do we have here? This is the bridge. And we need to assemble the bridge. With one of those consoles on the other side. But we can't get to there yet, so... The only way we can go is over here. What does this do? Just light? Or is it a switch? I think just a light source. And of course the red beam we've seen before. Mm. Pretty world seems hot here as well. And another pedestal is lying in wait over there. Do we actually get here right away? We do. So yeah, a brief visit to this world because we're transferring already. Just double checking to make sure because uh, there have been a few times that I didn't pay attention enough to my surroundings. But I don't see any other way to activate that bridge. This will lead us back to Captar? We'll see. Hunrath actually did not expect that. Now, where the hell is this? How did I miss this? Well, at least we couldn't have been here, but we walked a few times through here. I didn't look up. So that what happened. All right, so yeah, cool. Maybe we can uh, solve one of the problems or loose ends I previously talked about in the video. Oh, don't tell me we're... Oh, what? What? Wait, what? We're here? How did that happen? I have been here before. Now, did this pedestal change? Because this clearly was the jungle world. The jungle orb was over here. So I think this pedestal changed. 
So I'm going to assume we have to use this pedestal now in order to proceed. But that will be next time I will go and explore what's behind this pedestal. What is that noise? Well, we'll see you next time. Have a great day and thank you for watching and till then.